it's a trial, a phase two trial that is dedicated to patients with high risk MDS, high risk MML, and patients with low blast count EML. And uh, in this population, especially uh, patients with high risk MDS, the uh, treatment of choice uh, nowadays is uh, hypermethylating agent, especially as a CITD. And uh, this drug is the cornerstone of the treatment of high risk MDS. And uh, so far, we have seen many trials uh, uh, attempting to improve the results of other CITD. But for the moment, uh, all those trials, at least in high risk MDS, failed uh, to show any uh, advantage over other CITD alone. So uh, this uh, is a phase two uh, study for patients with high risk MDS, high risk CMML, or low blast uh, EML, who had not uh, been previously uh, treated with hypermethylating agents and who were ineligible for stem cell transplantation. These patients were randomized one-to-one -to, -one to receive pivonidostat plus azacitidine or azacitidine alone. The study uh, was powered on event-free survival as the original primary endpoint. Overall, 120 patients have been enrolled. The, main, the median age uh, in the study was 70 years. 56% of the patients had high-risk MDS, 14% had high-risk CMML, and 30% had uh, low blast DML. Uh, in terms of the results, uh, regarding the results, in the intention to treat population, there was a trend toward longer, even free survival with pivonidostat plus azacitidine versus azacitidine alone. The median EFS was 21 months uh, for the combination versus 16.6 .6 months for azacitidine alone. The median overall survival was 21.8 months with pivonidostat and azacitidine compared to 19 months with azacitidine alone. Even if the study was not powered to assess differences in disease-specific subgroups, in patients with high risk MDS, median even free survival was significantly longer with the combination of pivonidostat and azacitidine versus azacitidine alone, with a median even free survival of more than 20 months compared to 14.8 months with azacitidine alone. Similarly, uh, in patients with low blast AML, the overall survival with pivonidostat and azacitidine versus azacitidine alone trended uh, towards significance with a median of uh, uh, overall survival of 23.6 months versus 16 months. Overall response was a secondary endpoint. And among patients with high risk MDS, the overall response rate was higher with the combination of pivonidostat and azacitidine compared to azacitidine alone. And the median duration of response in these patients was uh, 34.6 months with pivonidostat and azacitidine versus 13.1 months with azacitidine alone. So this is the, the, the key results of, of the study. Well, in terms of toxicity, the toxicity profile observed uh, within the study was similar across the two groups. There was no uh, uh, um, myeloid suppression uh, uh, that was added by the addition of uh, pivonidostat with, uh, to as a cytidine. So the toxicity profile was similar in the two groups. Well, the main conclusion is that it's a promising result. This is promising result because in, in the intention to treat analysis, pivonidostat plus azacitidine led to a trend toward improved uh, even free survival. There were also encouraging clinical efficacy results with the combination of pivonidostat and azacitidine in high risk MDS and low blast DML. Ah, a randomized phase free trial is fully enrolled and is further evaluating the combination of pivonidostat and azacitidine versus azacitidine alone in the same population. We look forward for the results of this uh, uh, study. If it confirms and uh, maybe even amplifies the promising results of this phase two, we will have a new treatment for high-risk MDS. But for the moment, we have to be careful and wait for the final result of the phase three uh, study.